Welcome to Joe's Atmosphere. Boys and girls, welcome aboard. This is Sketching the Privateer. I'm your host, Joe Zatmosphere. It's good to see you this Saturday afternoon. Uh, sorry about last weekend. I know you guys probably missed the show last weekend because I had some technical difficulties. Hopefully, I've got them all worked out. But uh, Justifier Jim is busy this weekend. He said he's going to try and make it, but uh, we must press on him he would want us to do nothing more than that for sure what's going on jaffo good to see you man good to see my man jaffo from the dicks division in here what's happening man good to see you all right so let's go over what we did last week uh actually two weeks ago before i had the technical difficulties um last week it, we plotted out page 12 and uh, Jaffo, this is the first time you're watching this, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, comic book uh, card uh, stuff, stock, and I'm using regular uh, pencil sketch stuff. And then what I'm doing is I sketch them out and then I put them into uh, Procreate. I think we talked one time. Uh, you use, I think you use Photoshop, don't you? Or something like that, an equivalent to it. But I'm using Procreate. That's how I made these posters right here. Um, uh, just did sketches and then, uh, added, uh, oops, wrong one, hang on, okay, and then added the, uh, well, the best way to show you is the, the way, the way I show you at the opening of the show, that little slideshow, you see I do the sketches and then I put it in Procreate and do the layers and build it up, so, that's how I'm planning on doing the comic book as well. And this show is about how I plot the pages so people can get some backstory on it. We're actually well into plotting issue two right now. So uh, what we did, the last page we did was page 12 of issue two. And as you can see up top there, uh, it, it was uh, late night aboard the Seahawk. That's the uh, man of war that Greybeard owns, the pirate. Um a crewman, here's a rustle under the tarp. That's right here. He's just walking around and, and you'll see some uh, kegs of uh, gunpowder here and stuff. And there's a tarp underneath it. And uh, he pulls back the tarp and sees the privateer there. And then he takes him to the captain's quarters, throws him throws him on the floor when the, when the captain comes in. And it's, and it's clear as he's trying to get up to uh, get up on his hands and knees that he's been beat up a little bit. So... Um, and he's at this point in the story, for those of you that don't know, 
He is uh, 16, I believe. He's 16 years old. So, um, anyway, uh, so that's where we left off. Now I'll read you the script for this week for page 13. Um, hang on. You guys can follow along if I just change what I'm doing here. I can actually, I actually get smart and blew it up on a different screen so I could read it across the room. Um, page 13 goes like this. Uh, Graybeard helps the scared uh, Robert to his feet and sits him in a chair. He asks him how he got aboard. And as Robert tells his tale, Graybeard listens intently when he tells how he snuck past the deckhands, Greybeard glares at the first mate, the first mate immediately uh, nods and leaves. That's what goes on on this page. So there's a little bit of storytelling going on. Uh, so we've got a few things we've got to plot out here. Um, so let's go ahead and change that back to the other presentation with the... Uh, drawing board and I will switch cameras and get over there and get to work. I hope you guys are doing, uh, having a good Saturday. Uh, I heard through the grapevine my mom may, might be watching. If you're watching mom, hi, love you. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's uh, drum roll. This is what bit me last week. Let's see if we can change cameras. Can we do it? Come on. You can do it. There we go. We got it done. All right. Um, let me see. How does this one work? Yeah, that works. That's the one I was going to try out. Okay. That's one that uh, I like the new thing they have in here on uh, things and layout. Um, I'm going to place my light over here. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Too many wires. Okay. So, if I can keep from running over all my cords here, we might be able to set up the camera and get it right. Let's see. Um, we want it more towards the drawing board, and then you ought to be able to see me just fine. Okay. So, yeah, I got that too low. That's all right. I got to have it where you can see it. Okay. Yeah, we're good right there. All right. So, let me get my phone so I can see the chat. Get that going. Because I really can't see behind me. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Most people don't. So, uh, I really need to be watching my chat box right here. Okay, there we go. You're drawing? Cool, man. Cool. Hell, man, I'm going to have to... You know what I'm going to have to do one of these weekends when I do this show? I do it every Saturday at 1.30. Well, I, what I need to do is uh, set up another uh, uh, thing for you to get in here, and you can do some drawing while I'm drawing, man. You can sit here and yak. Um, but I usually have a co-host. His name's... He goes by the name Just Fire Jim. Great guy. Really good friend of mine, but he's been busy these days. This damn cord. I tell you what. Oh, I'm going to have to find me some some way to wirelessly do my headphones. Um, okay. And I think my eraser's over here somewhere. Huh. Well, I got an eraser here, but it's not a nice one like that. Like... Oh, well. Okay. So, am I running over the cord? No, I'm not. All right. So, we're ready to get started plotting the next page. So, according to the script, let's see. The script says, Graybeard helps this scared Robert. So, it's basically the conversation where he's telling him how he snuck onto the boat. Okay. So... This is, this is the part of storytelling, you know, that, you know, uh, I, I heard Ethan Van Shriver talk about it one time, you know, the exposition part of a comic book, 
is some of the most boring stuff ever. But, you know, if you don't do it right, you might as well trash the rest of the book, you know. And this is the this is the stuff that's tedious. You know, this isn't the fun stuff, the action poses and stuff. This is this is the storytelling part of it. So let's see. Put him in a chair next to his bed. All right. So what we have to do first is plot out what's going to happen in each one of these things. Uh, I think we'll go with, I think we'll go with um, this top panel being a big one. No, actually, we're going to split this one in half, I think. No, no, we'll do a big one. Let's see. Um, what I do is I start with a lighter pencil, and then I darken it up for a little bit of detail before I'm done. And I can usually get one page done a week, you know. So we'll see what happens. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is blue line paper that they use... This is the old school the way to do comic books. And usually they use blue line pencils on this so that they can ink over it and they and won't be seen. I'm doing a little bit different. Uh, I'm a pencil sketch portrait guy. So the pencils is what I know. And so I'm using the pencils. And like I said, I take pictures of the sketches, put them into Procreate and start building the, the levels of artwork. Uh, it has a layer system uh that you can use to put you know you can do the black and white on one and then colors on another and stuff like that so my uh my daughter uh drug me kicking and screaming into the 21st century taught me about that program so let's see what else we got on the script here puts him in the chair ask him how he got a board okay yeah all right so what we're gonna do yeah, I, th there was a reason why I needed to split that in half. Okay. Huh? So what we're going to do... We're going to go ahead and make the middle the big portion where the story, uh, the story that Robert's going to tell is going to be here. Okay? And by the way, if you want to get caught up on what's going on, you don't want to go all the way through all 62 episodes of this. If you go back to episode 60, I did a recap of all the pages I've plotted so far. So that'd be an easy way to catch up if you want to. And then we're going to do... We're going to do... We'll go ahead and split this one up here. Right down the middle. And then for him glaring at the first officer, I think we'll give, you, you guys know how I like to zoom in on eyes because I'm a portrait guy. What we'll do is we'll have one panel a little bit bigger than the other. And what we'll do is in this one, we'll have the captain glaring at the first officer over here and then have the first officer dashing out, dashing out the door. Okay. So this is page 13. We don't number the pages until we're done for the week. So let's get, go ahead and get started here. Um, God bless this, this damn cords. I swear, I wish I could go completely wireless. Well, thank you, Ruben. I appreciate it, brother. Um, and uh, Jaffo says it's, it, it's cool, but, it, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you're liking it, man. Um, I don't know what you're saying cool about, but if you're talking about going back and catching up, yeah, episode 60, you can do it there. God, this thing crumbles. I like my other needed eraser a lot better. Um, but anyway, okay, so... This first one is him putting him in the chair, right? So, 
We're gonna have a chair. Probably a big old rocking chair, right? It's the captain's quarters. He's got nice stuff, right? We'll have his hands on his shoulders, helping him up. His head will be back a little bit. Because he has been beat up a little bit. So he's a little... Shrugged shoulder type thing, right? He's placing him in the chair. And then Greybeard's going to be... His face will be right here. Because we know Greybeard's got a big-ass beard. Now you got to remember when you're drawing these pictures, you have to have room. We might, you know, we might go with the cliche anchor, huh? On his on his forearm kind of thing. Yeah, I think that'd be a cool touch. It's his neck, his chin. Of course, he's, he's been jacked up a little bit, so, you know. Of course, he's got a ponytail. You know the privateer's got a ponytail. Got to have that ponytail, of course. Now, I know you, you can't see this. It's not very dark right now, but when I do the details, it, it will all come to light. You'll be able to see what, what I'm shooting for here. All right, he puts him in a chair, and then let's do a different perspective here. Got the chair. We'll have private chair hanging on to the chair, right? Kind of sitting forward a little bit. Looking down now. All right. And remember, he's 16 years old, so he's not that big a guy. And then Greybeard's going to sit down on the bed. He'll have his hand in an open, questioning manner, right? And then uh, he's going to be asking, you know, how did you get aboard? What are you doing here? Kind of thing. And of course, he's a little bit disheveled because, and he's in his night clothes, right? So, big old beard. I have the beard, right? And he's sitting down on the bed. So, I have that set up. Okay, and then we're telling the story of how he got on the boat, right? So. Uh, we'll show we'll show the boat itself from the back side, I believe. Let's do the back. Well, I'm trying to think, where would the anchor be coming from? No, nah, it doesn't necessarily need to be the anchor. It could be it could be um, it could be one of those uh, oh, what you call it, man? Um, there are lines that they tie down to keep the boat from drifting. Of course, he's going to be hanging on to it, and climbing up it, right, with his legs and boots and everything. Of course, he's going to have that sack hanging off his shoulder that he left home with. And we're going to have some guys over here doing some stuff, not looking in the same direction. Right. And then, of course, we want to show some of the stuff that's on the, the dock itself. This is the back of the boat. Of course, we're going to have to have sails in here, that kind of thing. The mast. 
I mean, there's a lot of details you got to get into here. Uh, the other itself and stuff like that. Um, and then over here, we're going to have him sneaking by this part of it. We'll show the deck. It's kind of a mixed picture kind of thing. And what we'll have is we'll have him kind of one hand on a... Actually, let's... Let's set this up correctly now. We're gonna have him down here. Going below decks, past a guy that's that's uh, my, uh, he's supposed to be on watch, right? Actually, okay. See, this is the thing about plotting the story. You get you, you start getting pictures in your head, and there's a lot of erasing and stuff that goes on. I like this part, but what we need to do is show... God, this thing's crummy. I apologize. Um, we're going to show... We're going to show the guy that's actually uh, on watch. Looking out over the ocean. All right, with a spyglass. Show that. I'll have one hand supporting it right here. The other hand holding it right here. He's looking through it. The other hand over here supporting it. All right, and then we'll show, uh, he'll be in the foreground, and behind him, over the railing, we'll see one of those, like a, uh, I don't know, it's one of those things that you can, you can uh, open up the hold kind of things, and he's going to be holding this over his head, kind of backwards, He's going to be going downstairs, right? Out of tier. He's going to be, he's going to be looking. His hair will come out this way. There'll be his elbow right there. There's his shoulder and everything. Maybe even show his bag right here and him have a hand on the bag, fixing to pull it in. Behind him. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. And this will be going on while this guy's looking in another direction, right? And this will be the thing that ticks off Homeboy badly, right? We might even put another guy in here. Maybe he's smoking a cigar or something. Look in the other direction, too. Put him in a do-rag. Kind of thing. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. He sneaks aboard in the middle of the night. Nobody's looking. And then he gets into the he gets into the uh, hold downstairs, right? And then we've got the captain's reaction to this. This and he okay, we're gonna have privateer over here, kind of slumped down, head down, telling his story, right? Maybe uh, he's going to be sitting there in the armchair, his hand grasping the, the uh, arm of the chair. He's going to be, he's going to be doing one of those explaining motions with his hand, right? He's skinny. You always got to remember he's skinny. He's in the chair. And then here's Greybeard, and he's a big dude. And he's looking over 
let's have him looking over his shoulder kind of thing. We wouldn't see that shoulder. So he's he's actually facing the privateer. Uh, here's the end of the bed. Maybe see. Let's put one hand on the bed. Right on the edge. All right. Big old bed. I don't know. Headboard kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. The shovel sheets. And he's going to be looking over his shoulder kind of ticked off. Right? With that big ass beard. He's going to be looking kind of mad. Because this guy shouldn't have been able to get on board his ship, right? And he's got long hair. So we got... This is basically going to be a, the first really good portrait we do of him. Okay? And like I said, he's in his nightshirt. So, got to remember that. A little bit of a grimace. Right? Okay. And then, of course... Um... Have the first mate running out. To go see what's going on out there. Actually. Sorry. This eraser is not as nice as my other one. It's really crummy, so I have to kind of hold it together while I'm using it. Let's have him kind of running. Said he was running out the door, right? So his fist is going to be right here in a running motion. And then head down running, right? Well, she's the one that had the hat. Hair going behind him. I think he had a little bit of hair. All these guys have hair. He's, being, he's going to be looking a little mad because he wants to find out who let this guy on board the boat. And we'll have a silhouette of the chair. Privateer and Greybeard in the background. Okay, so that is the plot. Now we got to put some details in this so we can see what it is when we get back to it. All right, so we've got the chair We're in the bedroom. Now Everybody that knows privateers got hair. So he's going to have the ponytail. Shrugged shoulders. Not much, Sentinel. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Just plotting the 13th page of the second issue of the privateer. Still working on the details of the other, uh, the the first uh, issue. And I, you know. Uh, I'm hoping for July, but I just don't know if it's going to happen, man. The, the, now I'm I'm starting to understand why they have teams of people work on these comic books. I'm a one-man show, and I just... <laughs> it's taken a while, no doubt. The plotting is the easy part. The details are the harder part, you know? That, plus I've got commissions I do and all kinds of other stuff. So, you know, it, it could be a while, but I'm going I'm to get her done. One way or another. Um, but yeah, this this one right here, this is this is him uh, helping him up to a chair after he's been beat down a little bit. Yeah, blessing and a curse, absolutely, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
it's fun and everything and and i love what i'm doing i, I like what i'm putting on paper here i really am i mean I, I, this is a story i've i've been writing for over 20 years man i've i've, I've got all kinds of stories to tell you guys but it's going to be slow going getting it out because now if the first book takes off and i can afford it i'll get some help but that's the only way really you know but yeah he's been beat up Give him that slump-eyed look a little bit, right? And then we got this right here is our man. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and shade some of that in. Gray beard, so you know that's what that is. It's his face. He's kind of a jolly dude, so he's got some cheeks to him. But, uh, yeah, he's going to be slumping under the chair, no doubt, because he's been beat up. And then we got the chair. This is from the behind the privateer. This is ponytail. Ponytail is important, man. Got to have the hair. Got to have the hair. Um, and then we got. Uh, he's gonna be sitting here telling his story to him. You know, this is when Greybeard first starts questioning him. So he's sitting. In the chair, gripping it tight, right? Okay. And then we got Graybeard sitting down on the bed, and he's a mammoth dude. And like, like I said, he was woke up out of sleep, so his hair is all in his face. You know, he's not, this is not, he's not going to pick up ladies right now. You know, this is serious business. But he's got a big beard. Hair, shoulder, put his hand in a questioning manner, right? He's sitting down. Almost made him too big, though. It, this guy should be bigger in the foreground, right? So let's fix that real quick. Make his face a little bit smaller. These are the details you got to work out before you get into the other stuff. Yeah, okay, that's much better. A little too big there. He's starting to look way beyond Santa Claus level. And he's wearing a gown, so there'd be you know a little bit of gowns over his legs, right? These are these old sleeping gowns. You know what I mean? So, okay, that's there, that one. Then we've got him telling the story. Right. And actually, you know what? Instead of having a guy in the foreground, let's let's get this let's get rid of this guy on the dock. And let's put the privateer's face telling the story, right? And this is where we can see more that he's been beat up. You know, we'll see a split cheek or something, you know. And then, well, you guys will have to excuse me. Sometimes, that's why I like having Jimmy here. Sometimes, you know, I get so much into the artwork that I forget to talk. But... You know, hey, what you gonna do? That's that's why you always see Jaffo drawing when he's on other people's streams. You know, somebody else is talking when he's doing it. So, you know, Jaffo is a great artist, by the way. If you guys have never seen his stuff, you need to go check it out. You really do. 
Anyway, we're going to show him here, telling the story. And of course, he's going to be climbing up this thing, hand over hand. You'll see his head on this side, right? From underneath. Maybe the ponytail out this side. One leg across here. Another one down this way. This is one of those big split looking posts that hold the ropes that keep the boat in place. All right. And he's climbing up to the boat itself. And then we've got the eyeglass. All right. This guy's checking things out with it. All right, and that'll be his forearm, his elbows here. His hands hold right here. Now you got to think about what you're doing, though. His thumb would be on the back side, so that'll be his hand right there. His thumb will be right here, holding the thing towards his eye. There's his nose. This eye, of course, would be closed, right? You have that eye closed because he's looking through this thing. He'll have some hair, and he's got a navy hat, right? The old 1700s hat. Now, if you don't know, guys, this takes place in the 1700s right here. This is the privateer, actually. <laughs> if you guys aren't hip to the story yet, uh, this is actually him telling his story while he's being detained at Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, and if... If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to episode 60 and get caught up. Um, he's He is from the past, and he's here in the future to help us out. He is a Revolutionary War pirate. Okay, so we got that. We're going to have this other mate right here. Let's not forget to put some sails in here. Maybe a moonlight. Maybe we put the moon under here. All right, got to have plenty of sails. It is, it, is, it is a sailing vessel. Okay, now we got this crew member here. He's looking at something else, maybe smoking a cigar or something. We got that guy in there. Did we give him the classic striped shirt? Maybe. But we got a rail back here, and then we've got the bag. Privateer's got his bag, right? And he's sneaking past him, boys and girls. Sneaking past him, getting into the holes. Because they find, they find him down where the uh, gunpowder's being kept. Let's see. It's up, so his thumb is going to be on this side. Is that right? Yeah. It's his thumb. He's sneaking right past him, guys. A privateer, he's a sneaky dude. He can get it done. Okay, so then we've got him answering more questions, continuing to tell his tale. Looking a little beat up still. And we've got... He's going to have both hands open, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like that. You got to kind of try and tell visually that they're telling a story, right? So both hands will be open. Dusty. He's sitting in the chair on his knee. Of course, he's wearing one of those old shirts. Maybe a collar on it, I think. Okay. Okay, so that's him sitting in the chair, telling the story, right? And then here's the edge of the bed. The man sitting on the bed. And he's looking just a tad bit pissed off. Just a tad bit mad. Because apparently this 16-year-old kid got past his crew to get on board his boat. So he's not too happy about that. He's not too happy about that shit at all. He's got a big old beard. That's his shoulder. His arm. His cheek. Bye. Okay, so and he's got long hair. And he's gonna be looking like what in the hell? Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's gonna be a good picture of him. Okay, so we got that and then we got looking a little a little more scared than pissed off. First mate is taken off to find out how did this guy get on board their ship? That hand looks like it's in the wrong place. But it definitely got him with his shoulder back, elbow up, running. This leg's going forward. Knee's going to be about here. And that leg is going back, so that looks good right there. Of course, he's going to have a big sash. Maybe, maybe a. Let's see. Sword will be a crossbody. So yeah, this would be a sword, maybe. And let's put the other fist right here. The arm wouldn't come up. It looks like he's punching himself. That's why I moved it. <laughs> it looked like he was punching himself. And that, this one would be up, and this one would be down if he's running. So, yeah, that looks good right there. Okay, so that is yet another page plotted for the privateer. Yeah, we got the, we got the two guys talking in here. It's a silhouette. bigger guy here. Okay. So, there we go. That is the privateer. Issue 2. Page 13. Cruising right along, guys. Each, each one of these... Uh, Books is going to be 20 pages. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of guys are doing graphic novels. And if I do everything the way I want to, you guys will be able to get this in a graphic novel form. But what, what I'm, my plan is, once I've got this ready to go, um, I'm going to put out an issue about every three months, a 20-page issue every three months. So you get the cliffhanger ending. That, that's the thing that I always used to love about Spider-Man. Is the cliffhanger endings. You can't really get that in a graphic novel that fills up all this stuff. You know, that's the one drawback of a graphic novel. I think you don't get the cliffhanger ending wanting you to get the next issue. You know what I mean? So uh, that's how we're going to do this one. And then 
I'm going to put out three issues during the year, you know, one every three months or so. And then the last quarter of the year, just to give itself a break, I'm going to put those 60 pages into a graphic novel form if people want to, if you like the binge model and want to do it that way. All right, let me switch cameras real quick and we will wrap things up for today. You guys know how it goes. I got to go to work today, so we got to wrap up the show. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. First of all, let's uh, switch cameras. All right. So that, boys and girls, is page 13 of The Privateer. Now, uh, next week we'll do uh, page 14. I want to thank everybody that showed up today. I want to thank Ruben Hayes, who's been watching me. I appreciate it, man. Jaffo. Jaffo, it's good to see you, man. It's always good to see my fellow artists stop by. And, of course, The Sentinel. Good to see you, man. Um, I want to thank all you guys for being here. Let me uh, let you guys know what's going on with the channel real quick. Um, let's see. The next time you will see me is... Uh, Tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. Central, you can check me out uh, on Dork Side of the Ring with the Dork Knight himself, Danny Ballard, and uh, Johnny Rock will be uh, breaking down Backlash. It's our wrestling show, Dork Side of the Ring. Um, they have a big pay-per-view the WWE does tonight, Backlash. And uh, we'll be uh, going, uh, telling you about the results of that and what we thought of the show and everything and also i have a segment called state of the apron where i fill you in on what's going on with the smaller promotions and the indies and that's all of that is on dork side of the ring at 1 p.m central uh and then of course on the same channel uh you can watch me mon uh, monday morning on uh morning coffee with gary uh we're going to be doing Crimson Tide, and more importantly, next week, we're going to be doing my favorite submarine movie, The Hunt for Red October. We're doing them back-to-back -back on back-to-back uh, -back military Mondays. So, uh, I'm a, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm, uh, I'm a military veteran myself. I was a military policeman. A fact that Gary likes to point out quite a bit, because he can't stand military police, but, you know, hey, we love each other just the same. Um, but... That's at 10 a.m. on Monday. And both of these shows, Dork Side of the Ring and uh, Morning Coffee with Gary, are brought to you by Pop Culture Minefield and KGRA Radio, if you want to just listen. Uh, after that, I don't know what um, That 70s Rock Fan has planned for Monday, but if it's something I know something about, I'll be on his show on Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Central. And the next time you can see me on my channel is for State of the Atmosphere when me and my friends get together and talk about everything that's topical in pop culture. Uh, we do that every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, followed up at 10 p.m. Central by Papa Joe Gamer After Dark. I have a few video games, cocktails, and fails every Wednesday and Thursday night at 10 p.m. Central for a couple of hours. So come check me out there. And also on Thursday, you can watch me and my brother hack the Matrix. The brothers hack the Matrix. And what Matrix am I talking about? I'm talking about the Matrix of today's headlines. We uh, dig into the headlines of today and let you really, uh, we pull back the curtain on Oz and let you know what's really going on behind the scenes. So I want to thank all of you guys for being here today. Uh, definitely go check out my Rumble, uh, my uh Twitter, you know, all that stuff. I'm Joe's Atmosphere on all the friggin' social medias. I uh, need more followers on Rumble, but if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, definitely do that. Um, you can go check out joesatmosphere.com. Uh, you can support the channel at uh, Subscribe Star. I have a Subscribe Star page. Uh, Comics Division turned me on to that. Uh, I'm a member of his page over there. Uh, just look for Joe's Atmosphere all over these things. And if you want to support the channel, best way is subscribe star or uh, just uh, the what you saw in the chat earlier, the, tip, the tip on stream elements. So I want to thank you guys for being here. And uh, until I see you again, you guys keep on keeping on. God bless.